We're small farmers on the high plains of Laramie, Wyoming, and we've got some big ideas that will help you and your family grow up. So there are a lot of questions in aquaponics about media, and rightly so, because most of the aqu uh, aquaponics done in the world is media bed aquaponics. So if you're not a big commercial raft producer, most likely you're using some kind of plant growth uh, medium to grow your plants and to get your biofiltration uh, for your system. So when I talk about biofiltration, I'm just talking about the surface area of the aggregate, the surface area of the filter media or whatever you're using that allows the microbes to grow. And what that is uh, a lot means is that as the water moves through that, it's exposed to those microbes and those microbes increase the power of the system because they oxidize ammonia, because they break down and mineralize organic compounds, and because they just generally contribute to your system health. So uh, biological surface area is very important and that's measured just in square feet. Um, now the actual merit of the media itself is measured in square feet per cubic foot. That is specific surface area. So that's uh, basically describes how many square feet there are in one, uh, you know, volume measurement of media. So um, a lot of folks use aggregate media. We're talking expanded shell, hydrogen, um, three-quarter inch crushed granite, pea gravel, whatever uh, the media is. We use this uh, fiber media that we have made for us. And we really like this because unlike aggregates, uh, the water can trickle through very quickly. That's called percolation. So the water can percolate through this, uh, move very quickly through the profile so it doesn't hold a lot of weight, and it also has a lot of air in it. So um, essentially 92% of this vo by volume is just air. So that means we get a real nice aerobic environment all the time, even with a lot of root growth. This media is made out of polyester. It is uh, made from recycled water bottles. And uh, so we like that because it's kind of a nice, safe, post-consumer plastic. And uh, it, it lasts for a very long time. So we can put it in and, and the root action will actually start to tear apart the fibers over time. Um, but you know, it's by and large, it's a great media because it lasts forever. It's very durable and it provides us a lot of specific surface area, okay? So this stuff is about the specific surface area of medium-sized sand. So if you can imagine having a media bed full of sand, the, the, the biofiltration capacity would be very high because the specific surface area of sand is very high, but the percolation rates in sand are low because they clog up with biological matter and gunk and bacteria. Um, but the nice thing about this is we get the same amount of biofiltration with much higher rates of percolation. So lower weight and almost no fouling. And uh, another nice thing is we can put redworms in this and they do very well. So um, this is a brand new media insert. This has not been used before. And uh, you can tell that it's pretty new. Um, this one here had chives planted in it for about a year and we were bad and we didn't really clean it out. So it's been drying out the last few days and you can see it starting to dry. And um, the media, you can clean it, um, you know, as it gets older. So this isn't quite dry yet, but once it dries, we'll be able to basically flex the media and all of that organic matter will break up and then we can just blow it out or rinse it out. So that's one of the advantages to the media that we use, although there's a lot of great media out there. Um, expanded shale is one of my favorites because it's got really high specific surface area uh, compared to other similar materials and it's pretty cheap and it's lightweight and easy on your hands. So these are all things to think about when you're trying to choose your media. Um, you want to try and find something lightweight, you want to try and find something that's easy to work with and most importantly has very high specific surface area. So if you're looking for this type of material, we sell it on our website, brightagritech.com. Um, if you're looking for a different type of material, like expanded shell or hydrogen, uh, we don't sell it, but we've got a lot of friends who do, and we'd be happy to uh, give you their contact information. So shoot us a line, and we'll help you get set up with the most appropriate media for your application. Also associated with that is as the temperature rises, the metabolism of a lot of organisms increases, so you get a lot more oxygen consumption.